Good afternoon. In the last video, we learned how to add our file management items to the Windows context menu. For those who are interested, the link to the video is in the upper right corner. Today, I want to tell you. What is God Mode in Windows 11? And so God Mode is a small Windows feature that brings together over 200 tools and settings in one place in the form of a virtual cheat sheet. Using God Mode, Windows lets you rapidly access administrative tools, options for backup and restore, and other significant management settings from a single window. Step-by-step -step process of enabling God Mode in Windows 11. There will be a link to the lists of GUIDs in the description of the video. You are copying the string with God Mode. Next, you create a new folder on your desktop. To create, right-click in the empty area of the desktop, then hover over the new option and then choose Folder. Name that unnamed folder as God Mode. And GUID Code. If you've already created a folder with a different name, you have to right-click that folder and choose the Rename option to change it. Once you press the Enter key after changing the name, the name that you have written will disappear. The icon should change into a control panel icon or just the folder icon without a word. Finally, you can open the folder to access all the settings inside. You'll find settings for everything needed in your computer from autoplay, user accounts, disk optimization, and the entire list. There are 203 items, but that could be different for different versions of Windows. If you want to use any setting regularly, you can make a shortcut to that setting and place it on the desktop. This is not possible for settings in control panel, but as God mode is just a standard folder, you can create shortcuts. Please note that there is a column with keywords, this is done to make it easier to find the right equipment. Let's try to open something from this folder. Such as user certificates. If you need to launch God mode once, you can use the run window to do this. In which you must paste a specific command. I prepared it in advance in a notebook. Click on the start button and select run from the context menu. In the window that opens, paste the previously copied code and press enter. As a result, you will call a window with all the functions. Also, having the desired GUID value, you can create individual items from the folder in God mode. For example, I want to have a shortcut to the Programs and Features window. To do this, I copy the desired name with the GUID code and paste it into a new folder. As you can see, everything works fine and the window with the desired function has opened. For example, let's create a folder for managing the firewall. While using Windows God mode, you might have a question, what can it do? The response is pretty simple. You can do everything possible in Windows with the God mode. For instance, if you need to change the date and time, you don't have to go inside the control panel and change the setting. You open this folder straightforwardly and simply search for the date in the search bar. God mode will show different choices and options regarding the date there to you, and you can change it to whatever you want. You can change the settings and activate multiple clocks of different countries according to your work. This Windows God mode is a GUID-based folder so that it can be directly affected by PC worms such as viruses, malware, trojans, etc. Such worms can create a hidden folder under the God mode folder. So, this can be a trap as users will see that inside folder as a system app. For example, in the recycle bin, any file stored in e colon backslash recycler backslash bin. Code GUID backslash virus. EXE cannot be viewed in Explorer. Opening the folder in order to view slash delete would redirect to the recycle bin. On top of that, you cannot delete the folder while the worm is running. Such a shortcut can be bypassed using an active antivirus or booting from another operating system. That's all for me. Thank you for watching the video, like and subscribe to the channel. There are many more interesting things ahead of us.